Welcome back. We turn our attention now to football and the meeting of Galway and Leash. Galway have promised much under manager Peter Ford, but they may yet rue their inconsistency. Today they faced a Leash team who have underperformed this season and were still without their Port Leash contingent. Ger Canning is your commentator. Free is quickly taken by Noel Meehan. Nicely inside towards Porrick Joyce, inside towards Michael Meehan, trying to steal a march. Meehan and going in, what a goal! Great start by Michael Meehan from Caltra. That was a great ball in from Porrick Joyce, and good positional play here by uh, Michael Meehan. Took control of the situation and fired it home brilliantly. That's Noel Meehan. One of three Meehans who are figuring in the Galway team this afternoon. Savage playing it ahead for Porrick Joyce, ready to take on his man. That's a lovely ball, beautiful effort. Joe Bergen, where's his midfield partner? Now Coleman's available, 45 metres out, bottled up by Tom Kelly initially, finds Bergen again, quite easily. Galway really dominant here. Paul Clancy, down it goes towards Noel Meehan this time. Fired back towards his brother Michael. They've taken the long way around Salt Hill, but they finally put it over the bar. And they go to their tried and trusted full forward today, Michael Meehan. Already Galway preparing some of their substitutes, and Mikko has worries and concerns. Ross Monnelly, Leash needing now to get a score somehow. Taking on Damien Burke, freeing it back here. Donny Brennan, can he contribute? He just might. That's a good point. Ross Monnelly, getting it away from Declan Meehan's attentions. Can they work it back to Donny Brennan? Brennan once again, he's the most dangerous today from a leash point of view, and he's got another point. Played on beautifully here towards Porrick Clancy. Donny Brennan once again, ready to take on Clive Monaghan. Coming on to it here is uh, Ross Monnelly. Beautiful kick from Ross Monnelly, and that's over the bar. That's Leisha's eighth score of the first half. 1-7 now, 2-8 points. One back by Galway, bit of holding by Tom Kelly. Free is quickly taken down to Porrick Joyce. Operating very effectively on the 40 against Darren Rooney. Joe Bergen taking on his opposite number. And beating them all. Great score. Wonderful play by Joe Bergen. As Tom Kelly advances, great vision to pick out Chris Conway. Conway trying to narrow the gap to the minimum before the break. That's a great kick. Good move, Chris Conway, the one who finally executes the score. But uh, Tom Kelly takes a lot of the credit. His vision to pick out the flying number 11, and then his rugged determination paying off with a great kick. Some pushing, and it's going to be a leash free kick. Taken very snappily, down towards Donny Brennan. There's a number of new colleagues in there to help out, but Shane Cook still very much in the thick of the action. Almost lost his way, linking up with Brennan again. Might curl in, it does, just inside the left-hand post. Breaks in here again towards Bergen, checking his stride nicely inside towards Michael Meehan. Nicely fed back, Devan was around waiting for it, comes out once again here to Paul Clancy this time, and he plants the beauty. Lovely kick by Paul Clancy. Burke waiting there, and it comes for Joe Bergen. Bergen right through, all the way in. Has support, Michael Meehan kicking it over the bar. He might have had a second goal, but it was a really fast, attacking, pacey move by Galway. Joe Bergen leading the way forward. Laying it off beautifully for me and didn't even think about the goal really, put it over the bar. And Leash breaking again. 
Once again, it's Colin Begley. Once again, it's Leash with Tony Brennan inside. An opportunity for Mark Dunn. Breaks down there. Dangerous situation, and the referee has blown his whistle. It's a penalty, I think. This is it in reprise again, as it was played into the centre. And you could see there was a wraparound challenge there by Kieran Fitzgerald. A penalty for Leash. One goalkeeper confronting another. Fergal Byron has come all the way up to take it. In goal for Galway is Brian Donoghue. Leash behind by a point at this stage. Fergal Byron cracks it brilliantly in. It was worth his while coming all the way down. Wonderful penalty. 17 minutes into the second half. This is how to take a penalty. Emphatically struck home. Leash leading by two points. Mick O'Dwyer has to be enjoying it. He always enjoys his football. Has a great uh, attitude to the game. Oof. Kevin Brady in difficulty. Galway in difficulty. Shane Cook. Nice ball in. They look around for support. That was Lawler trying to get command of the situation. Spills out here once again. And a very tricky angle, but dealt with brilliantly, inevitably, by Donny Brennan for his sixth point of the afternoon. And Leash are playing with some style. 115 to 113 they lead. It was played out there by the substitute Paul Lawler, number 21, to Donny Brennan. And it was an almost impossible angle. Donny Brennan again having come way out this time. This is Shane Cook, change of role for the second half. He's come out around the half forward line. Clancy's come more into the game in midfield, setting up for Tom Kelly. What a great kick and over the bar. That's good play by Leash. And the former Leinster champions are turning on the style. Here comes Niall Coleman out to Declan Meehan. Now he'll have to try and lob it in. Looking for bodies in front of Fergal Byron's goal. Porrick Joyce. With the game heading in towards stoppage time. Fergal Byron coming, fisting it away. Derek Savage reacting quickest of all. Has Michael Meehan just to his right, our left. Here he is. Towards Devan, helped away, however. And once again, kicked from the centre here. And that is Burke kicking from left half back, but Damien Burke has put it wide this is collected by Michael Colleran now Clancy feeding it through for Joyce remember they've drawn in the last three league matches these teams could it happen again as Savage comes through and it's in the back of the net and it's Michael Meehan he's got his second goal of the game and it's come a minute into stoppage time 2.13 to 1.16 the teams are level just like when it seemed that Leash were home and hosed, Galway took their defence apart, and once again Leash have been found porous at the back. Savage playing it across, a little block on it, but it came to Michael Meehan, and he drilled it home. Two goals and five points for Michael Meehan. The teams are level, now is there a winner? About 30 seconds to play. Leash will have to hurry it. Shane Cook might take a return pass. It comes instead to Colin Begley, who's played everywhere else and anywhere bar at fullback this afternoon. Back to Cook. Is that a winner? It might well be. Shane Cook has kicked his second point of the afternoon, and the Leash followers are absolutely delighted. Rocked by that Michael Meehan goal just a few seconds ago, that might now be the winner. And the final whistle sounds at Pierce Stadium in Galway. And Leash have won a dramatic league match by the narrowest of margins here. After Michael Meehan had scored his second goal, Shane Cook is the hero. And the final score reads, Galway, two goals and 13 points. Leash the winners, one goal and 17. Well, I think that was the best finish I've seen in the league without, without a doubt and it was great from our point of view after conceding a goal at one end to come straight through the field and get the winning point. It showed great character in our team today. You know, they played with great fire and spirit in the second half. At half time, it looked, look, it looked like as if it was lost to us, to be honest. We were, there was a good strong breeze blowing there, but our fellas really knuckled down in the second half there and they produced some great football. Well, a good result for Miko, all right, but would a draw have been fair, do you think, Tommy? 
I, I suppose over 70 minutes, yeah. Both teams would have been very happy going home in their, in their buses. They haven't got a point each. You'd have to say Galway would probably be the most disappointed because they started the game one fight to two points up after 15 minutes, playing into a gale force breeze, and they just seemed to lose their shape completely. And, and once Leash got going in the second half, you know, they really did put Galway under awful pressure. Galway defence was, was very porous, you know, throughout the whole game. Every time Leash went at Galway hard, they seemed to open up, no problem. Galway offensively were very good. I mean, they scored 2 13. There's nothing wrong with them going forward. Why is there such a roller coaster with Galway at the moment? Can you explain it at all? Well, I don't know. Obviously, they're trying out new players, and they're, they're, you know, they're, there's key positions in the, in the Galway team up for grabs, like centre back. You know, it's a key position they haven't really got right for the last couple of years. And, and you know, they have a new man in there, Nile Coleman, who I thought he did very well today with the midfield. Good left foot in him, distributed the ball well. You know, they just have a bit of more work to do in the defence. But goals do win games, don't they? Let's have a look at some of those goals today. Yeah, goals do win games. There's no question a couple of great goals today. I mean, Porrick Joyce, a lovely ball into Michael Meehan. Uh, Tom McDonald on the wrong side of Michael Meehan. And, you know, Michael Meehan doesn't miss those at all. In fact, Michael Meehan took a couple of points uh, in the game today when probably goals were on. And, and he, he, tonight he'd probably say, maybe I should have gone for the goals. But, you know, a great goal. This is a great work goal. Galway needed the goal. Leash knew Galway needed the goal. This is a minute in injury time. You know, it's a great finish. Like, it's a great, great build up. It's a great, great work move. And, like, you know, Galway needed that. Leash knew they needed it. And, and to get the goal was fantastic. What about Donald Brennan? Or Donny to his mates? You were yeah. impressed with him, weren't you? Yeah, I mean, Donny Brennan certainly seems to be a, a great find for it. He came on last year in the Championship as a very young player. He, you know, it's just his, his, his option taken today. I don't think he gave away a ball throughout the whole game. He was always linking, and he was always at the end of the move to kick simple scores. I mean, you know, simple scores are, are the important scores to get. Here's another simple move. Comes right through on the burst again. Easy point over the bar. This is the time when Leash needed somebody to take control of the game, and he did it. You know, another easy point, but he made it. You know, he, he, he's been a real finder, together with Paul Lawler. Paul Lawler is another man who came on today. He played very well again the last day of release. Two good new young forwards that Leash have found. And, you know, I saw Mick, oh, he's still smiling. You know what I mean? And mm. like, he still has only six or seven fellas to come back. Joe Higgins was in the subs today. Yeah. Good to see Joe back from a cruciate. You know, they're starting to come. Tom Kelly played, started his first game. Mick, oh, still smiling. <laughs> he's a smiling all right, but what about the, the penalty? And Fergal Byrne in particular, <laughs> to, to run from one length of the pitch to the other yeah, to take it. Peter Ford wouldn't be smiling over this penalty. This, this certainly would not be a penalty in Crow Park in a big day. Uh, Pat McKinney would give it there. He was obviously very close to it. He saw it there. But I mean, I thought the Leafs player went down very, very, very uh, easily. But it was a great penalty. Well put away. Fergal's a great striker of the ball. He just put his head down and hit it awful hard. I don't think you'd see a penalty like that in, in, in the summer championship. Right. You're on speaking terms with Mr. McEnany, I think Pat's a great ref. I think he's one of the best refs we have. And, you know, ironically, he, you know, he didn't give any yellow card today. But to be fair to Galway and Leash, they did play a very open brand yeah. of football today. There was no negativity. Both teams were going for the win. Right, 213 to 117, so a very high-scoring game and great to see. Well, last night, Kerry played host to Westmeath in...